Uh, the ride is a cross-country relay. Uh, starts in Victoria on the 3rd of August and it goes to Newfoundland, uh, Gander, Newfoundland, and they'll be arriving there on the 25th. Can you kind of give us a, a, an, an overview of what the ride is across Canada and, and what, it, what is its purpose? Well, the purpose of the ride is to raise raise money for two charities, the uh, Children's Wish Foundation here in BC, um, but the national ride focuses on the Military Police Fund for Blind Children. Uh, riders from all across the country, uh, both military and civilians, a lot of retired riders, uh, retired people as well, um, have to pay money into a registration fee and then they go on the ride and we stop at different places along the way to raise money for those two charities. Great. And so it's a relay ride and you're picking up the BC leg of that? Yes, we started the BC leg on the 3rd of August. Uh, we left Victoria with um, 20, 21 provincial riders and five national riders. Uh, we took the national riders through a great loop through BC, uh, up through Squamish, Duffy Lake, uh, which is a great motorcycle ride, through Kamloops down to Golden and then up to Jasper where we handed the national riders off to the Alberta team who's going to continue to take them across the country east and they'll take them to all the different regions and at each region they'll hand them over to the next team. What, what is the Legion involvement here in BC? Here in BC, uh, Lamont French, who started the BC portion six years ago, formulated a relationship with Legions across the province. The riders are not only responsible for paying their own registration, but they also have to cover all of their costs. So fuel for the motorcycles, maintenance for the motorcycles, their food, their accommodations, all of those costs come out of the riders' pockets. What the Legions do is they host us and they feed us a lot of our meals to help keep those costs down for the riders and allow more riders to come out that might not have otherwise been able to due to financial restrictions. Wow, so that's an incredible contribution on behalf of the riders. So not only are they giving of their time, they're also paying their own fuel and their own uh, expenses other than their food. Absolutely. All of that money comes out of their pocket because uh, we try to run with a 0% administration cost. Every dollar that we receive in donations, registrations, and so forth and so on goes straight to those two charities. We don't keep any of it back for administration. Why is the Legion involved in this charity? Um, it's, it started with Lamont contacting Legion branches on their, on their route and uh, for us, I mean, they're military police, uh, they're all veterans, uh, so it's a big, <clears throat> excuse me, a big part of, of what we do is supporting veterans in whatever they do. So um, there are two charities, the Children's Wish Foundation and the Military Police uh, Blind Children's Fund, I mean, are, are very important. So. Um, yeah, so we got on board the first year, uh, they did a ride through, we provided a lunch and I said, hey, next year, come for supper, we'll give you a night. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so the last two years they've been doing supper. Um, the first year, last year, we uh, said, look, park your bikes, we'll provide rides, come have some comradeship. And uh, so we were the first legion to do that. They're now asking whenever they, they do a, a night over that that's provided. So that way they can support the legion back as well. So Lamont has really used the legion as their network for, for support. So um, you'll see on their webpage, they make a point of thanking everybody that provides a breakfast or a lunch or whatever. And it's, you know, just about every small town, they make a point of stopping in and supporting the legion as well. Mm -hmm. Now, you're here in Valmont today. Uh, where's your next stop? Our next stop tonight is down in 100 Mile House. Uh, Bob down there who runs the Legion is putting on a dance and a great steak dinner for us. And then the day after that is our last leg to get us back home to Victoria. Uh, how much money would you say you'll raise on just on the BC leg of this race? We just did a rough estimate uh, a few minutes ago. Lamont French is handling the money for me this year. And right now we're, we're, we're looking at about $15,000 from BC. The big thing is, you know, when we get to meet recipients from the Military Police Fund for Blind Children or the Children's Wish Foundation, I think a lot of the riders, when they first sign up to come on the ride, they're looking at it, hey, this is a great way to go on a motorcycle trip with some great people. And so we tell the stories of these children. And um, I've seen some pretty big men, some pretty nasty looking bikers break down into tears because uh, it is really about the causes. And they very if they don't know that when they start, they very quickly learn it along the way. Once you, you leave and this is on the air, if people want to donate to the cause, what, what do they do? Uh, very simple. If you Google the uh, 
MPNMRR, or the Military Police National Motorcycle Relay. Um, it'll come up very quick and easy, and there's a place right online where you can uh, register. Or you can contact me directly. My email address is tjbr100 at yahoo.ca, and I can send you in the right direction. Great. Well, thank you very much, and best of luck on the road.